Step right up and see what's in the box. All right, here we go. This is a Kickstarter that I've been waiting for for a couple of months. And it's finally here. Literally just arrived. I ran to the mailbox to get it um, because I'm too impatient to wait. Here we go. Aha. Barker's Row. Holy cats, there's all the extras just come flying right out. All right, all this stuff out of here. Let's start right there, neoprene game mat. So when I originally backed this game, I actually did not back, um, I just backed the base game. I didn't go for any of the extras because I said, I don't need a game mat or sleeves. So I really didn't want the sleeves. But as time went on, I really wanted the game mat. And just before delivery, I was able to add this on to my pledge. So I'm very happy about that. I think that'll uh, add to the gameplay because extras are always nice. And here are the sleeves, the custom sleeves. Open these up. Okay, so these are the Barker cards. That's pretty cool. So there's, it doesn't obscure the art. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then what are these? Uh, attraction pack one. So this would be one of the uh, one of the Kickstarter extras, I do believe. So here are the attraction cards. What do we have here? El Chubacabra, the goat sucker lives. A giant leech. Human cannibal. Invisible man. Creeper the Clown, that's horrifying. He's a real scream. Dr. Jekyll, Dragon Egg. And Montezuma's Crown. I wonder if you get this card if you get Montezuma's Revenge. And cool, here are the sleeves for the attraction cards, which is pretty cool. It's, it's nice that I'm not usually one to sleeve my cards, but it's nice to know that I don't have to worry about finding the appropriately sized sleeves. Oh, he's pretty nice. Cool. So I will actually end up sleeping this game, but let's get to get down to brass tacks. Let's open this bad boy up. Oh, pretty cool. 40 attraction cards, 48 Barker cards, 52 custom meeples, four 3D grandstands, a 3D strongman tower, four tower markers, and one rule book. It's pretty sweet looking. I definitely dig the art. Let's see how this this looks inside and what is in the box here. Nice linen finish on the box. Very cool. Overworld Games. All right, so here we go. Here's the rule book. It's a pretty good size. That's pretty cool. There's uh, links on how to play, so you can go right to a video to watch how to play. So if you don't feel like reading through this, uh, you could probably watch it and jump right in. It's pretty big, uh, pretty big font, pretty big writing on this rule book. I feel like it could have been smaller. Um, not that I mind. It's, you can really see it from, from quite far away. Uh, but no, it works out. It's pretty cool. I like the full color rule books that are very, um, very specific with their with their pictures on how to play inside. Excellent. All the rules and information. I always like when they do this uh, a, a quick reference for the turns on the back of the rule book, whether or not there are uh, reference cards because it's usually bigger here and you can see it at a glance. Everybody can kind of see it if you throw it on the table. See what else we have here. Assembly instructions for installing the strongman tower and the grandstands. And join the newsletter. Win free games, get promo cards, and be the first to hear about new games and expansions. Oh, that's cool. So that looks like the base of the strongman tower. 
all the punch boards here. See how all these come out. Yeah, come out pretty good. Scoring attractions. Scoring an attraction. This is so this must be for the grandstands for each each player, I'm assuming. I don't know, we'll find out as we learn the game. Yeah, so these are the grandstand seats. As you are drawing in your rubes, I think that's what they call them as rubes. And here's a tower. So this should so that'll go like so. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so there's a plastic piece that holds that from the bottom. Let's go to the cards. We'll save the meeples for last. And I cannot open these cards to save my life. All right, so more attraction cards. A pretty good stack of them here. Living Dinosaur, Minotaur, <laughs> The Missing Link. Werewalrus. That's creative. I've never heard of a Werewalrus before. Again, these are all linen finish. It's a pretty good thickness of the cards. Ancient Mummy. Man-eating plant. Feed me some more. Sea Goblin, All Seeing Eye, Pandora's Box, Pharaoh's Tomb, Philosopher's Stone. Hmm. Cool. A lot of good variety there, it looks like. And then what is this here? These are the Barker cards. Let's see if we can get this one open a little easier than the last. Ugh. video will be 10 minutes of me trying to unwrap cards and here we go all the Barker cards okay so these are the type of attraction that they are freaks beasts wild what do we have here Harry humongous majestic ferocious I like the art, it's kind of uh, very, uh, I guess appropriately enough, circus sideshow kind of creepy, yet fun at the same time. Cool. So these are the point, uh, the little point scores that are going to go up the, the strongman tower. Keep track of your points. a little wooden stand. What is this here? Well, that came out of the tile from the strongman base. A couple baggies. And here's what I'm waiting for. The meeples. I thought it was really incredible at the fact that these meeples were um, screened meeples. Not stickered and not normal meeples, especially considering I think the, the base game of this was 29 bucks. I mean, look at that, these are really nice looking. I like. Looks like you should be in the Wizard of Oz, or uh, not the Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland. These are pretty great. I wonder if they're all different or if there's any duplicity. No, okay, so there's some duplicity in them. Can't remember, it's been a while. This is about six, eight months in the, in the making waiting for this. Uh, I even like that the wood is like a natural, like a, is it either natural color or is it painted? I think it's painted a, a lighter, lighter color, but it kind of fits the color tone of the creepy sideshow circusy thing. Excellent. There you go. Some meeples, some cards, a couple grandstands, a play mat. An insert that'll serve its purpose that I wish was a little more customized, but it'll do its job. It's actually pretty sturdy, so it's not going to collapse on you like some other inserts do, but that's it.
That's what we have. That is Barker's Row. All right, guys. Well, keep uh, keep an eye out for a review and uh, maybe a playthrough on this one. We'll see. All right, guys, have a good one, and I'll talk to you next time.